Hey, when I just watched What If, the Shala became solid. I really love this episode. I really love Jared's performance in this episode. It just shows that the way, the possibility, the idea of the of something so random, you know, like with the Shala becoming like another character that we know of, with Solar to really change the like, I really how massive outcome within the MCU in, in a way and it shows that Marvel truly understands their craft and this is really um, brilliant to see. If you've seen the, the trailers, you know, you see like the Jala and as Star Lord next to Gamora, you know what And Gamora was in this episode, so I feel like they're doing like a continue, continue. It's storyline, but I'll take it to be in the next episode, I think. But that's really cool. It's interesting that when we saw the collector and him fighting, he has the uh, collector has Thor's hammer and Captain America's shield, which is vibranium. And they don't mention that, you know what I mean? They don't mention vibranium at all, and you know, T'Challa does use it to break through the collector's display. Mm. And so, and plus the fact is, the, if you, it's, you saw there was Captain America's shield, it did not pair his shield from last week. Um, what is that? It shows that they're doing like different point, points of uh, the type, whatever. So, which is alright to do. We just feel like that's Marvel's choice, and I like that. Uh, it would be really weird and confusing to see. Pergis, to be honest, if Petty's shield, if, if there are skills that would have been interesting, you know what I mean? Well, now let's back to the point of the uh, episode that he wanted, that Shala wanted to explore the world when he was young and the talk that he had with King and his dad, you know, he, the Shaka, he is able to. He's but he wanted to his father one to try to understand and explore the world in the but in the way that he didn't do he want his dad wanted him wanted to try to explore the world within just with color itself and because he the shaka believes that no with the world isn't safe for him and they understand um the technology and the ways. So I understand that. I watched Black Panther, so when T'Challa was young, in 1988, they went, it says 20 years later, so that's 2018, and that's when the first Black Panther movie came out. So instead of T'Challa dealing with Wakanda and, and Killmonger, he was with, in space with the Ravagers and Yondu. I love Yondu's episode. You can see that Yondu's more caring for T'Challa and on better understanding of him, it's better understanding of him compared to Star Lord of um, Peter because we see that um, T'Challa isn't so full of himself compared to Quill, so it was really interesting seeing that way. And there's a lot of, a lot of people in the galaxy really respect T'Challa because he's we know how what type of character he is, you know, that he's kind and his personality. Is, Shows through out any point of multiverse, apparently, that he will always will be filled with joy and filled with. Um, he always has a positive, a, a positive attitude, even mind, and it a lot of people who he surrounds himself with really like shows positive back. Even that guy from the beginning where he wanted to grab the orb and they didn't really. Focus on the Infinity Stones that much, then focus on the Power Stone that much. It's they went on doing the shot went a different route with the Power Stone, and that was really interesting. I actually really liked that they didn't continue that, um, didn't go that route because Peter, because originally, originally Peter went away from Yondu and compared to. T'Challa, he stayed with him. He, they always by, they were always 
by each other's side because of how Shala is. <laughs> I really love that. I was not expecting Thanos to be in part of the Ravagers. That's really unexpected. I feel like this character is kind of the same except he's not against anyone, but he still has. Thanos still has that mindset of wrapping half the planet and it's, he's not really uh, taking it straight or basically nothing changed with it except for he's like, kind of nice in a way. It was interesting seeing the Black Order there alongside the collector, so as um, the guards, that's because he's the collector that the keep now of the universe and that's something I really found really interesting now. It really made sense for him to be that way. I mean, it was interesting that there was like no other competition of him. I mean, maybe y'all do, but that's not really what I'm going for. Hopefully, you know what I mean. Like, there wasn't, there wasn't another character trying to try to one up the collector or anything like that. I really liked seeing, um, even for a brief moment, Drax in this episode. The fact that he has his family now. He has his family in this universe because of the outcome, and which I find interesting because uh, I feel like that's like another um, storyline that they changed up within the, these characters, which was whether or not it was Peter or the child of being stolen. I feel like that was really great movie scene. Dreads being happy and more being um, fulfilled and excited to be be who he is. And the fact that we saw him in like, the ball with his the kiln, that was really interesting scene. And in that way, we didn't just we didn't have Groot or Rocket. But I feel like there's a possibility if they turn up in the in the episode where we see um, T'Challa and Star Lord. And go like go in a circle. I feel like if they do that, if they show up in the episode, it'll be really interesting seeing what they're doing. I really love that the characters really that we spent it on T'Challa as Star Lord, and, and I really it just was really done really well. And this episode shows that Marvel can do anything fresh and different, even though it may sound like basic. Of this character with that character, it's still it shows that Marvel can, can do anything they want to, and um, that's something I really fun. I really loved it that they did that, that thing with um, the, the ship that from um, Wakanda, how it ended up there. That was really interesting, and I still wonder how you know, why they had that ship there, and the fact that also the fact that Yondu also lied to Sh to Shala about how it kind of being destroyed or anything so it's really interesting seeing why the he had to lie in that way you know what I mean they always have work. it shows Yondu's um, assistant Karina she was like, really interesting I really enjoyed the fact that she's basically the same character even though like, in the first Guardian said she just want like, to be in control and all these things and that was something I really love seeing how the dog cameo for just a little bit even though he like, basically was trying to like, give the shot out to <laughs> as much as he could and Cosmo the dog um, being a stowaway in the ship <laughs> that's such a very cool teaser face was alright I mean special with him <laughs> I really love Nebula in this episode. She's like the relationship she has with Thanos it was interesting, and but didn't really did the bond wasn't as strong. It wasn't that all the squad. It was just like it felt like they were just friends, you know what I mean? So that was interesting, and I her hairless is awesome. <laughs> it's really interesting scene that she saw. Lambert, she has a black she's all um all dressed up, maybe she has feelings for T'Challa so that's actually maybe the well thing set scene of her 
if they will have the original one. It'll be fun to put card games in a uh, game. Even Shadow Quest, Postman's voice, her gun was really amazing. I just really love that. And the batteries about to run out, so I just thought in here. So. Hey, one with Peter Quill. One, his mom brought him the ladder. Doesn't say Star Lord and says, what, uh, what does it say? And this man is a good character when um, he goes with him. That's really interesting. And what's the fact that the Charlotte's dad's alive because the, he was in the he was in the in the nation thing. And then when one, one Zemo blew up the building, I mean, so that's really interesting. I didn't really realize and but yes, the fact that this. It makes you really think about all that. And now then with Thanos, I thought was, is there really is there Avengers or was it just if you remember the door and Captain America's shield is collected so did the collector kill them or anything like that? And also Hella as well, that's also interesting. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's that it's kinda it was kinda weird seeing Thanos in Wakanda still being himself but not really himself, you know what I mean? There's no Infinity Stone collecting and destroying all this and no Iron Man, no Iron Man with this Thanos because Thanos is a good kind in this universe so that's really interesting to really make you think about the, the grand scale of the MCU in that way. Like, back to the um, outro. Thank you for watching. I have my Black Pepper review. Here if you want to catch up, I have other what if. Reviews here, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.